watching. Hello, Tanaya. Hello, Tanaya. Hello, Tanaya. It's time to say hello. Good morning, Kaiden and Rising Stars. It has been a day, really a week, it's only Tuesday, but a whole week of technical difficulties. Yesterday, our video cut out at the very end. We didn't have audio at the end. Today, what I the stand that I put my phone on to record broke, so you might be a little crooked and cockeyed today, but that's okay, um, because it's Tuesday and we're here. Um, today is not Monday the 11th. That was yesterday. Let's move things over. Yesterday was the 11th. Today is the 12th. And tomorrow will be the 13th. So it is May 12th, 2002. It's Tuesday. Tuesday means I have office hours. So if you're not doing anything this afternoon, you can pop in on Teams. We can hang out. We can do some fun things together. It will be nice. Um, but today is also a very special day for some of our staff at Kaiden. How many of you know a nurse? I know a nurse. Today is International Nurses Day. So think about those people that help keep us safe and healthy at Kaiden. All of our nursing staff, we miss you. We love you. We wish you a happy Nurses Day. Happy International Nurses Day. So people all over the world are celebrating nurses today. And it's a good time to celebrate nurses, isn't it? With so many people getting sick. So I don't have a, a nursing song. I don't have a happy International Nursing song. But I do have... Um, how about the Days of the Week song? Ready? Sunday, Monday. International Nurses Day. That is so nice. Well, if the nurses were at school and we were at school, we would probably bring them a treat, wouldn't we? We would bring in something special for them. Maybe we'd bring in donuts or maybe we'd bring in cookies or maybe it would be a cupcake kind of a day. What would you like for a treat? What do you like? Do you like donuts or do you like cookies or do you like cupcakes which one not sure I picked donuts I went on the donut trail one time with my nephew we went to all of the donut shops in one county we ate a donut at everyone we only ate a bite of a donut at everyone and then we got a free t-shirt I'll have to look and see when Donut Day is coming up, or maybe it's already passed. So I like donuts. What do you like? You can look at the one that you like. You could point to it. Or you could tell the grown-up that you're with. Which one do you like? Maybe you like cupcakes that don't have chocolate frosting. Maybe you like strawberry frosting on your cupcakes. Or maybe you like chocolate cupcakes with sprinkles. Or maybe you like oatmeal cookies and not chocolate chip. There's so many options. So many options. So, um, it's supposed to be spring out. It's supposed to be warm, but there was yucky cold weather yesterday. And I think we have yucky cold weather today coming too. Um, so a friend dropped this book off for me. We probably should have read it last week, but I didn't, or last month, but I didn't have it last month for Earth Day. It's called Fancy Nancy. Every day is Earth Day. We celebrated Earth Day the end of April, almost a month ago. I think it was April 21st or 22nd. 
But this is by Jane O'Connor. And it's every day is Earth Day. Um, if you are on the green team from Miss Cools and Miss McLean's class, you are going to love this book because it's about a lot of the things that you were talking about in the green team. So, Jeremiah and Roland, listen carefully. You might have some things to add. I don't know if there's... Oh, Isaiah. Um, you might have some things to add. Isaac, you might have some things to add. So let's think about what you know as part of the green team. And if you're not old enough to be in the green team yet, this will be a good introduction to you. This is Fancy Nancy. I think she's always dressed quite fancy. Look, she's got things in her hair. Looks ever so. She says, I do not like the color green very much. You can tell by my crayons, the green one looks almost new. Which must mean that nobody is pulling the wrappers off of her crayons. Somebody does that in my classroom. I don't like it. But I adore being green. Adore is fancy for really, really loving something. Being green means taking care of our planet. Mrs. Glass asks, who can tell us about Earth Day? I wave my hand and say, it's like a holiday for our planet. Look at them, they're all in school together. Are you jealous? What do they have in front of them here? What is this? Does anyone know what that is? Miss McLean has one in her classroom. Mrs. Cools, do you have one in your classroom too? It's called a globe. It's a 3D, three-dimensional representation of our Earth. So you can see where all of the, planet, the places are. That's right, says Mrs. Glass. But I like to think that Every day is Earth Day. Our class discusses rules for being green. Discuss means to talk, only it's fancier and more serious. Then we write the rules down. Can you think of some things to be green, to be healthy for our planet? What are some things? Come up with something? Why don't you tell the grown-up that you're with? What's something that we can do to help our planet? Did you tell them? All right, let's see if your idea shows up later in the book, okay? At home, I am shocked. I see that my family needs to be much greener my dad is about to drive to the supermarket. Dad, I say, the green rule is less than a mile, bike in style. When I used to teach at a school close to my house, I used to ride my bike to school every day because it was less than a mile, so I biked in style. My bike has a flat tire right now. I haven't been able to ride it at all. It does not make me happy. But we're supposed to be getting it fixed this week, so I'll keep you posted. Less than a mile, bike in style. So we don't have to take our cars if it's very close. We could bike, or we could walk. That would be okay. Walking would take a little longer. At the checkout line, the guy asks my dad if we want paper or plastic bags. I say to my dad, please take a note, always bring a tote. Tote is a fancy word for shopping bag. Look, she remembered to bring her own shopping bag. That's very green, isn't it? You get to reuse it. She's got it right here, it even says green on it. Reuse your shopping bag, such a good idea. 
Later that night, it gets cold. My mom wants to turn up the heat. No, mom, I say, it's better to wear a sweater. In the morning, I stand outside the bathroom. Very soon I shout, Dad, don't waste water. Get clean, but stay green. We've got quite a few rules now. We've got ride your bike, bring a shopping bag. We've got put on sweaters. We've got don't waste water. That's four rules so far. At school, we each make a poster. Robert says, we are like superheroes. We are protecting the earth. Good to be a superhero. It's good to help protect the earth. That night, I see that my mom's computer is on right away. I turn it off. My mom comes into the room. She sees the blank screen. Why did you do that? She asks. I tell her, she is wasting energy. I hope she saved the work. Otherwise, if she turned it off without saving, all that work is gone. I was writing something for work, my mom says. I just went to get my glasses. Now I lost everything I wrote. I have to start all over. She is very irritated. That's fancy for mad. But how was I to know? I was just protecting the planet. Oh, I'll bet mom is super mad. I hate that when I lose things, when all of my work is deleted. It's so frustrating. I tell my sister not to run water while she brushes her teeth. I remind my parents to turn off lights in empty rooms before for bed, I go into my sister's room. I start to turn off her lamp. Oh no, my mom says, your sister is afraid of the dark. She likes the lights on. Hmm. Soon my sister is asleep. Now she does not need the light on. I tiptoe into her room and turn off her light. In the middle of the night, I wake up. I hear my sister crying. What is wrong? Can you imagine what is wrong? Why do you think her sister woke up in the middle of the night and is crying? What is she afraid of, do you remember? She's afraid of the dark. Your sister woke up and got scared, Dad says. She was alone in the dark. Did you turn off her lamp? Yes, I say. I am so sorry. I didn't think she would wake up. I start crying too. Aw, she didn't mean to make her sister scared. She was trying to be green, wasn't she? She was trying to make sure that there was no energy wasted with that light on. Sometimes when we do the wrong thing and we feel bad, we have to figure out how to make it right, don't we? What do you think you, she could do to make that right? When you hurt someone's feelings or make them sad or angry, what can you do? You could say, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You could. The next morning, my parents say, it is important to be green, and we will try harder. But you must not be so bossy, and you must be flexible. That is the opposite of stubborn. At school, I perk up. Miss Glass adores my poster. My green crayon does not look new anymore.
Look at that. She's got a rainbow and trees, a beautiful sun. So many nice things in her picture. My family really is greener now. Tonight at dinner, we use candles, not light bulbs. We use cloth napkins, not paper ones. Guess what? Being green can also be very fancy. It's a nice way to save energy and to save resources. It sounds like her family made a compromise. They worked together. Fancy Nancy wanted to be very green and very good for the earth, but her family, they still needed to have light. They still needed to do things. They had to come up with a compromise. They had to work together. It's kind of hard right now when we're all together all the time, isn't it? Sometimes some of us get very angry because we want things our way. And sometimes that's hard to find a way to give a little bit so that everybody can be happy, isn't it? It can be hard. The weather isn't compromising very much. It's supposed to be spring. It's supposed to be warm. And it's cold out. Another cold day. But let's still spring our, sing our spring song. Can you make the sun when we sing about the sun? And can you make the rain fall down when we sing the raining verse? And can you make things grow? And push it up like it's coming up out of the earth. Make it grow when we sing about the flowers starting to bloom. The sun is shining bright. The sun is shining bright. Oh, how I love the warmth. The sun is shining bright. Now the rain. The rain is falling down. The rain is falling down. Oh, how I love the sound. The rain is falling down. All right, now what comes next? Things start to grow, right? The flowers start to bloom. The flowers start to bloom. The flowers start to bloom. Oh, how I love the sight. The flowers start to bloom. Let's sing the first verse again. The sun is shining bright. The sun is shining bright. Oh, how I love the warmth. The sun is shining bright. The rain is falling down. The rain is falling down. Oh, how I love the sound. The rain is falling down. The flowers start to bloom. The flowers start to bloom. Oh, how I love the sight. The flowers start to bloom. Kaiden. I miss you so much, but today, make sure that you wash your hands, make sure that you eat something healthy, and make sure that you're kind to one another. I love you and miss you. Have a good day.